Thanks to our friends at The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com forward slash rive to receive the top 10 stocks to buy right now. Adobe is going to be one of the most interesting companies to watch in artificial intelligence in large part because it's really the established player when it comes to creating art products like Photoshop and Illustrator. Its whole suite of tools is really for creators. So if creators start using artificial intelligence to create, they could actually disrupt or leave the Adobe ecosystem. So Adobe wants to figure out a way to keep them in the ecosystem. An announcement that they made this week, I think was really interesting and a step in the right direction for them. That's what I want to go through today. My name is Travis Holliam. Thanks for watching Rive Investing. Please subscribe here on YouTube for all my content. And let's get right to the announcement. This is the press release Tuesday, May 23rd from Adobe said that they're going to unveil the future of the creative cloud with the generative AI as a creative co-pilot in Photoshop. Now, I want to give a little bit of background because in March, they announced an AI tool, generative AI tool called Firefly. This is Adobe's image creation tool that was trained on Adobe's own assets. I think that's really important to understand. This is not like mid journey where it's just pulling information from the internet and training itself on basically any kind of data. So it could be a Getty image, could be an image that I own, could be an image you own. And there's no real regard for what the copyright of that image is. Now that may be okay long-term legally, but we're in a legal gray area when it comes to building these AI models and what sort of assets go into them. So Adobe has said, hey, we created this AI model using our own assets. So you as a creator, if you're creating something for commercial use, you can be assured that any generative image that's created using our tools you are going to own and have the commercial rights for that. You're not going to get sued for that. So that's one of the pitches that they're making. So that was Firefly and Firefly is basically now going to be included in the Adobe suite. I'm going to play this little video. Hopefully it shows up well, but the idea here is not that you're going to be creating images whole cloth like you would with something like mid journey. You can do that with Firefly, but more so that you're going to take an image and modify it in ways that you would like to. So you can see here added road lines, made the aspect aspect ratio a little bit different in this one where they're going to take a deer and actually put it in an alley at night and then add a sign. So these are the kind of things that you're going to be using Adobe for if you're a user of Photoshop, but now you're just going to be using generative AI to make your job a lot easier. I think this is really the right strategy for Adobe because you're basically super powering your users with artificial intelligence makes your business stickier and adds value in the process. Again, we're also getting to the point where Adobe has taken away that fear that you're going to be using somebody else's copyrighted materials in your artificial intelligence model. So we're not going to see a company like Adobe make an entirely new business model. I think this is where artificial intelligence could be disruptive, but it could also be incre incrementally helpful for a company like Adobe if they're able to make their products better and more usable to more people. I think the argument for Adobe, especially with a tool like this, is if they can make their AI products so easy to use that an amateur can use them, you're gonna actually make your addressable audience even bigger. Going back 20 years, you had to be really well-trained to use Photoshop. Now we're getting to the point where a lot of these tools are easier. Things like Canva are much easier. It's possible that Adobe moves in that direction to try to broaden the audience and sell their products to more and more people. They've obviously done that by moving into the cloud and the acquisition of Figma would be another step in that direction, bringing more people into the ecosystem. So I think this is a really interesting announcement and I think probably the best use case for Adobe's tools and artificial intelligence. I'm still not buying the stock. It's just too expensive right now, but from a strategic standpoint and an operational standpoint, I think these are phenomenal moves for Adobe. What did you think about these AI announcements? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow Rive Investing. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you here next time.